campaign to permit feminist marches while restricting worship services. While maintaining restrictions on transit, gatherings, and worship services amid the coronavirus pandemic, Spanish authorities will allow marches for International Women's Day next month. Various feminist organizations are already calling for demonstrations in various parts of Spain March 8. In Madrid, marches of up to 500 persons have been authorized. The Minister of Health, Carolina Darias, advises against the marches, saying there is no place for them because the epidemiological situation would not allow nor make sense to hold these events. However, Fernando Simon, Director of the Health Emergencies and Alerts Coordination Center of the Spanish Government, has been in favor of the feminist events and said that they are less risky than Holy Week processions. Simon said, it's not the same to be under a litter carried by many people during Holy Week than to be in a demonstration of 500 where distances can be maintained. The delegate of the Spanish government in Madrid, Jose Manuel Franco, told Onda Madrid Public Radio that the requests for a permit to hold marches they have received in the Spanish capital have not been prohibited because they maintain the parameters required right now in this pandemic situation. In various autonomous regional governments in Spain, restrictions have already been announced. For Holy Week celebrations and other celebrations associated with the Church, such as the Sanfermines in Navarre, which will not be held this year. In a statement to ACI Prensa, CNA's Spanish-language news partner, Luis Losda, campaign director for CitizenGeo in Latin America, said that it's outrageous that, while we have had to give up the fallas of Valencia and San Fermin festivals as well. As Holy Week, the feminists insist on their own celebration. FR Juan Manuel Gongora, a Spaniard, said, These days we are watching with astonishment how in the middle of the pandemic, the government delegation in Madrid is going to authorize the 8M demonstrations with ridiculous measures. Allowing these demonstrations is a farce for all of us citizens who are complying with the imposed measures and it constitutes a shameful double standard, Gungora noted. At the same time, we are already hearing 24-7 that this year we must act as if Holy Week does not exist, he added. The priest said that if on Easter Sunday I go out through the door of the church that I administer holding the monstrance with the blessed sacrament while the parishioners accompany me duly separated, what authority does the government have to impose a fine on me? We Catholics must stop being timid before sectarian rulers. We should act with courage and claim our right to express publicly our faith while respecting sanitary measures, those that truly respond to the requirements of health care but which others are using under that guise to restrict freedom, Gongora said. Fr. Francisco Jose Delgado, another Spaniard, charged that all this time we have been enduring a real demonization of Catholic worship, despite the fact that there is no known source of infection associated with worship activities in Spain. At the same time, we see how the public events of the state religion, since the March 8th marches are nothing else, are shamelessly promoted by Podimos in the government, he said. Delgado said that the Ministry of Health advises against these marches shows this is more about the political confrontation between the political parties in the government than from a real concern for the health of the people, 
which has been missing in the decisions that have been made since the pandemic started. In our case, as a church it is difficult to distinguish what part of our self-imposed restrictions belongs to prudence and what part corresponds to posturing before the world. We have to obey and in most places we won't have processions, obeying the bishops, he said. But perhaps the task of spiritual reconstruction should be planned that must come after all this. Because the world's ideological agenda is not going to back off a millimeter, while we seem to be in retreat, Delgado lamented. Spain has had more than 3 million confirmed cases of COVID-19 and more than 68,000 deaths. Per 1 lakh people, it has had 6,802 cases and 147 deaths.